original selling price, $1,638 discount. Congratulations. You own it for $9,800. There's the savvy app that uh, you saw on the, or you saw on the uh, vehicle and we told you about and I've demonstrated for you five or six different times. There's your total purchase price. Um, there is no trade, so there are your taxes and fees. Over here, you've got payment choices. Do me a favor. Uh, at 36 months, you're going to have the highest payment in your neighborhood. You're also going to pay the lowest amount of interest, and you're going to pay it off the fastest. At 60 months, the payment's more comfortable, more flexible. However, um, you've got the right to pay it off early with no prepayment penalty. At 48 months, that's the best of both worlds. Pick a down payment amount, circle the payment that works best for you, and we'll get your vehicle ready for delivery. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I need this no. in here. No, I don't, I don't blame you. Um, nobody needs it. However, you're going to want it. Um, you told me that you track your mileage, correct? Yep. Okay, you told me that you use Mile IQ like about 10 million people do, correct? Yes. And I didn't have to ask you, but you pay 60 bucks a year for that, don't you? I do. Okay, over the next five years, you're going to pay $300 to Mile IQ, or you're going to pay a one-time fee of $499 for Savvy, all right? Which makes your net cost for Savvy $199. But you know what? What do you get for $199? You don't have any children driving it, do you? No. Okay, and you may never have any children driving, but if you did, it would be the single most valuable asset in your household. However, you did tell me that very seldom is there a recall on one of our Fords, but when there is, it can be a mess. And the reason I say it can be a mess, the recalls normally aren't serious, but they take forever to get, it'll, it'll take you forever to get into our service department to get the recall work done. With our Savvy app, you are the first to know, so you can get in and out before anybody else does. You told me cost of ownership was important, and you wanted to keep it down as low as possible, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Look, your average Ford buyer spends $3,000 on repairs and maintenance in the first six years of ownership. And the average Ford buyer does not have a Savvy app that alerts them to all maintenance needs and any problems, which meaning you could, which means you can proact to that and save a significant amount of money right there. And when it comes to service specials, you're going to get $199 worth of service specials sent to you over the next five years, probably times three. So as you can see, the $499 really isn't $499. Go ahead and pick a payment. I need your okay right here. Mm -hmm.